Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, back with another tarot card reading for you guys today. Um, yeah, man, we're going to be getting into a, a special reading for you guys today. Of course, timeless, but with the times that we're in now, today we're actually um, going to be experiencing the super moon, the last super moon of the year. Uh, it's in Capricorn. Uh, people are even calling it the super strawberry moon, so I'm guessing there's going to be a slight tinge of pink or red or something when I go out for my nightly ritualistic walk and all that. Um, but yeah, so earth energies, I've even wearing brown today. I think I'm going to be doing the earth sign readings as well, the astro lectures, a few readings. It's been a while since I did some tarot. So in the spirit of the super moon, I'm going to use the Moonology deck, of course. Let's pull some Oracle cards today and see what the message is. What the moon, <laughs> the moon spirit, the ancestors, the angels have in store for us today. So, basically a quick vibe check based on the uh, this whole super moon holiday. It's in Capricorn, so... Um, Maybe a lot of business is, uh, are being, is being done. People are probably working hard right now to um, finalize contracts, uh, working hard towards completing their goals and things like that. You know, you know, you're working hard before we're getting into partying hard, which is gonna start right after July 4th. So definitely Capricorn energy, you know, building up your finances, grounding yourself, um, ending old tough cycles as well. You know, you know what happens every time summer comes around. People always tend to break up before summertime so they can go out and have their fun and all that. So, you know, interesting energies. Um, work hard, play hard. Uh, overall stability. So, again, you know, being the uh, last super moon of the year, this is going to be a good time for people to ground themselves, uh, reaffirm their affirmations, um, reflect on what's been going on over this first half of the year. We still haven't have a, a whole nother second half of the year. Um, and yeah, man, just enjoy the reading. So one more shuffle of the Moonology deck. We'll see what type of energies are surrounding you. Get some uh, finance and love messages. I always like pulling up the finance messages out of the Moonology card, out of the Moonology deck. So let's see what we got. Expect a powerful change, new moon and eclipse. not opposite or maybe not as similar to a full moon super moon but we have you know new moon and eclipse so definitely strong energies uh coming in right now of course with the uh with the full moon and capricorn we're experiencing a lot of dynamic energies a lot of um you know, a lot of tangible energies, of course. I always think of Earth energy as uh, tangibles. You may be receiving, uh, you know, some type, some form of a payment, some form of finances, or maybe getting news about, uh, you know, maybe a, a contract went through, an application went through. Maybe you're moving. Slow moving travel. Hmm. Any more messages from the moonology? Time for healing. Balsamic moon. So in the event that uh, cycles are closing out, you know, of course, Capricorn wanting to get to the peak, the summit, the top of the mountain, which I guess would be finality. Um, with a, a time for healing and a balsamic moon, this is a chance for you to stop, rest, repair, rejuvenate, rebuild, restructure, refinance, recalibrate. So this is a great pause in the cog in the machine, or you might be that great cog in the machine that causes everything to pause. Give everyone a new fresh perspective, new fresh ideas. Give everyone, give everyone a new uh, breath of fresh air. And lastly, we have emotions are running high, super moon. So, wow, indeed, again, uh, full moon and Capricorn, full moon and Capricorn, super moon, um, rarely cr classified as such and such, right? Uh, but of course, the, the energies are very high with the super moon. You all know that, you know, just 
what the moon affects uh, in our world tangibly. You know, the way the ocean waves are affected by the moon spiritually, women, you know, medically, you, you guys are you're affected by your your um, your cycles are affected by the moon energies and things like that. So definitely a big wave of energy coming in right now is going to be a great opportunity again for people to level up. If you haven't leveled up uh, this super moon, make sure you take your notes. You again, you uh, reflect. You reaffirm your affirmations. You reground yourself and restructure yourself. Evolution is a slow process. Every now and then, you can expect powerful change. I mean, if you go through a lot, then, you know, sometimes we can supersede <laughs> supersede those things. I'm not sure how many people are familiar with uh, anime or even Dragon Ball Z. And every time the Saiyans, they get their behind kicked, it's a time for healing. <laughs> and then they come back stronger, expect a powerful change. <laughs> we all know that they had tails. They were able to transform at the sight of a full moon. And they gave them even more power. It rose their vibrational frequency or it rose their power level or, you know, they upgraded. So, again, you know, this could be in regards to your uh, your finances. Again, if you're starting a business or completing the finishing touches on a launch of a business, I see uh, good energy coming in for you. High energy. Um, maybe a very uh, surprising sort of enigmatic energy that comes out of nowhere or even business. A lot of business just floods you out of nowhere. Let's take a look at love messages. Of course, we're going to be using romance angels. Let's see what messages are going to come out in regards to love. Romance angels today. So hopefully everybody's doing okay. It is raining in my negative woods. <laughs> of course, man. South Florida, one minute it is sunshine. Next minute, it rains. And it's morning, too. So it's like I can't even get out and go to the gym or go out and do any shopping or anything like that. I'll stay in the house and listen to these the hammering raindrops hit my roof. So hopefully, yeah, you're enjoying the super moon reading for today in regards to love messages. I'm going to pull three oracle messages from the, uh, the romance angels. Let go of control issues. So again, during this uh, cycle of closure, we're in full moon right now uh, in Capricorn. Again, Capricorn is all about finishing things. If, if Aries is all about starting things and getting things done, you know, having that, uh, that close relative energy with Leo where they like to shine and, you know, be the center of attention and things like that. Capricorn wants to be... Uh, not necessarily the one that shines, but one that makes sure the job gets done. Even if they have to play the, the, the behind-the-scenes role, the captain, the leader, the alpha and omega. I need to make sure things are getting done, that things are being uh, grounded in a tangible way. So um, let go of uh, control issues at this time. Maybe if you are a boss or some type of captain or a leader, it's time to start taking... Um, I wouldn't necessarily advice, but taking uh, the opinions and the ideas of others into, uh, into heart. Second out of the romance angels. Yeah, dealing with finances and career. Finances and career it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So again, yeah, those channeled messages. And it's crazy because... We just did the money, and now we're doing um, your relationships. Uh, um, yeah, your relationships out of the moonology, but you pull a finance card. So it's, again, uh, Capricorn, all about business, all about money, all about tangibles, being very materialistic. Not to say that's a bad thing, but we live on the earth plane. The whole human condition uh, is, you know, dealing with uh, perception and... Um, you know, different perspectives and, you know, different people have different tastes. You know, we have five senses at the moment that we use on a daily basis that we are here to experience things. But we, we listen to music with our ears. We taste different foods with our tongues. It's if it's you um, overindulging or practice or indulging in the seven deadly sins, whether it's greed, pride, you know, any of those things, avarice. 
you know, you have to learn how to temper yourself. Maybe you're even dumping too much of your finances into material things. It's becoming a factor. It's affecting your relationships and the people around you. Hopefully you're not trying to use money to control the people around you. <laughs> That's the type of stuff the Illuminati does. <laughs> And people will think that the Illuminati is a bunch of jackasses that just like to sit around and control people. But, I mean, if you really put the hand, the hands of the world into unevolved people, I would be afraid of that, too. And that's with any captain or with any chief or with any leader or any quarterback or... Is the reason why we have a hierarchy. It's the reason why we have a pecking order. It's the reason why every few millennia women take over the world and every few millennia men take over the world. You got to learn how to coexist. <laughs> Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor. It's always about the power struggle in these relationships. Last card out of the Romance Angels because we are approaching 11-11 and I'm expecting uh, messages, other messages, not <laughs> spiritual messages, emails to come through. <laughs> Last we have Keep an Open Mind, one of my favorite quotes, Keep a Clear Channel. Uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So again, keep an open mind. Keep your eyes open. Cross your T's, dot your I's. Make sure you're not being too judgmental. Use your discernment. Judgment is a factor. People say, I don't judge or I don't like being judged. Or, I don't want people to judge me. You use your discernment and your judgment every moment that you are living. People need to learn to not let words trigger them. Use your words to your advantage. That's how you communicate. That's how you get across what it is that you want in life. That's one step of mastery. That's one step to mastery. Monks can sit in a temple for 20 years and not speak all they want. But at some point, you're going to have to communicate. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, definitely an interesting reading for uh, your super moon messages, your super strawberry moon. <laughs> so hopefully, again, you're going to be out reflecting, um, you know, your, your candle rituals, your plant rituals, your mirror magics. All those things are valid. Just know what you are doing. Um, again, share with your friends and the people that are closest to you co-mingling finances sometimes that can become a problem but yeah your usual type or your usual uh herb or herb or tribe herd or tribe uh may differ from your usual type you know one of my biggest messages of this year was stick to your own kind and being a man being a black man being a psychic black man being a so many different labels. It's like, what is my own kind? Literally, at the end of the day, what's my own kind to stick to? And that's that's your destiny. That's perception. That's identity at the end of the day. You have your identity, but don't let your identity cloud your judgment to where you're not able to see where your benefit or your thoughts or your actions can change the overall collective or the world. And if you're in a negative state of mind, you can't really do that. If you don't know yourself, you can't even begin to take your first steps. If you're distracted, you know, that's even worse. You can be a master, you know, but your surroundings, uh, they definitely affect you. You know, you have to build that certain space of peace. But that is all for me today's. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Got my new, got, yeah, got me a new haircut, you know. Got, got a chance to see my, my hair again, man. I don't like that. I don't like when y'all get a chance to see my hair. <laughs> But anyways, um, let me sage your energy real quick before I get you guys out of here. Yeah, we crossed 1111 11 on this reading, so should have received some in interesting spiritual messages in regards to love and finances and manifesting positive energy, repeating positive affirmations, you know, during this full moon window. I often speak about 1111 being doorways and things like that, keys. Um, less than 48 hours ago, I woke up out of my sleep in the middle of the night. You know, the witching hour. With interesting thoughts in my head. I just posted the 12 media, uh, 12 media, social media that, 
if that is a doorway or if that's a portal, there must be a key somewhere. So, you know. And who knows what that key is. <laughs> this sage stick can be a key, right? <laughs> so. Don't forget to sage your energy. Anything that you're using in your ritual. Don't forget to sage your device if you're using it to play frequency music. You know, anything that you're using. Make sure you use this time. If you have not used any other time out of this year to cleanse your things, sage is a good way to do that. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Be safe.